Hey everyone, it's Brittany with Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge. We have a fun daily activity plan for you. We're going to be learning about watersheds. And so what is a watershed? Well, that's when land sheds water from rain and snow melt into streams and rivers or lakes. Um, and your boundaries of the watershed are determined by mountains, hills, and other high points. So your watersheds can be really small or they can be really large and a large watershed may have a bunch of smaller watersheds within it. Um, so the way it works, you have a small stream that flows into a larger stream, which would flow into an even larger stream, which would flow into a river, um, and then your rivers can flow into larger rivers, or even gulfs, seas, and oceans. So watersheds are pretty cool, and we're gonna have a fun little activity showing you how the watershed works. And all you're going to need is at least two pieces of paper. Um, you're going to need some color markers. You're going to need some, or you're going to need a spray bottle to spray water. And then you're going to need a pan to catch all the water that you're spraying. So are we ready? Here we go. Okay, so for our first demonstration of how the watershed works, you're going to take one piece of paper and you're going to crumple it up. like so. And then you want to pull it apart, but you don't want to flatten it. So you want to leave the tall bumps on there because those are going to represent your mountains. Uh, the high points are your mountains and the really low parts are your valleys. And then um, I want you to draw where you think your streams and rivers are on your watershed. So I'm going to draw mine. So I drew where I thought my rivers and streams would be on my watershed. And so now you get to test it. So you're gonna take your spray bottle and you are going to spray and you'll watch and you can see a lot of that water is kind of building up right there. And it's flowing down a lot of these crevices. Okay, so that was our first watershed example. Uh, our next one, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take your piece of paper and you're going to crumple it up. And then pull it apart, but don't flatten it. And now, this time, you're going to draw more than just your water. So, with your blue marker, you're going to draw your streams and your rivers again. Okay, so with this one, not only did I draw my streams and rivers, I added a little pond up here. Um, on the top of this mountain right here because it dipped in and I could see that water would pool there. Now with your other ones you can use your brown marker and this is going to be the tops of your mountains. So now I have my streams and rivers drawn. I have the tops of the, mount tops of the mountains drawn on there. And then now I'm going to draw some trees, some landscape. Okay, so now I have some trees drawn on there. My next step that I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw uh, some towns in here as well, and that'll just be blocks of red. Okay, so my watershed is done. I have 
green trees, I have brown soil on the tops of the mountains, I have my blue streams and rivers, and I have my red little towns. So now we're gonna have it rain. So we take our spray bottle and we spray just like this. And we're gonna watch what the water's doing. You can see a lot of this green running into the blue. You see a lot of this red running into there as well. You can see some of this brown pulling in there. So what this is representing is how everything affects your watershed. So this is your brown soil that's running into your water. The trees can represent um, uh, your grass clippings and your leaves flowing into the water. The red is your towns, and so that could be oil from the cars and gas from the cars leaking into the rivers. So do your best to eliminate uh, what you can. Don't leave a bunch of fertilizer lying in the driveway. Um, and keep the watershed clean. So upstream affects downstream. But I hope this was a really fun activity for you, and I hope you learned a lot. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow for our next daily activity. Bye, everyone.